Hallmark's Christmas On Call star Sarah Canning, Sir Darius Blaine and Donna Kells. Welcome to my channel Hallmark's Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Hallmark honors first responders in the upcoming countdown to Christmas movie Christmas On Call. This stars Sarah Canning, Sir Darius Blaine, and Donna Kells. Mama Kels is featured in two Christmas movies this year. Here are all the details of this new holiday movie. Photo. Sarah Canning. Sir Darius Blaine Credit. T 2024 Hallmark Media slash photographer. Steve Ackerman. What is Hallmark's Christmas on call about? Sarah Canning. Sir Darius Blaine and Donna Kels are starring in the upcoming holiday movie Christmas on Call. What is this movie about? According to the Hallmark synopsis, Hannah Michaels is an emergency room doctor. It is Christmas time and she is seeing EMT Wes Sullivan. She is new to Philadelphia and Wes is determined to show her all the sights, sounds, and tastes. That includes a Philly cheesecake. The more time they spend together, the more they find romance. However, as first responders, there aren't extra days off to celebrate the holidays. This can be the busiest time of the year for emergencies. Instead, they balance the demands of their job, support each other, and find moments of joy. When does Christmas on Call premiere? The premiere of Christmas on Call is on Friday, November 22, at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. Stream Sarah Canning. Sir Darius Blaine and Donna Kelsey's holiday movie on Peacock up to 72 hours after the premiere. Donna Kelts is in two Hallmark Christmas movies. Hallmark fans may note that Donna Kelts is featured in two Hallmark Christmas movies this year. The first movie announcement was for Holiday Touchdown, a Chief's love story. This movie is the first collaboration between the NFL and the Feel Good Network. Moreover, Mama Kels plays the manager of a BBQ joint, the lead characters portrayed by Hunter King and Tyler Hines visit. Next, she is in Christmas on call. In this movie, she serves up an authentic Philly cheese steak. What makes this extra fun is that it takes place in Philadelphia, where her other son, Jason Kels, played football. This makes the 2024 countdown to Christmas even more fun. However, Mama Kels recently revealed that her son Jason Kels probably didn't even know she was in one, let alone two Hallmark movies. But holiday movie fans know all about this. Don't miss Mama Kels in Holiday Touchdown, a Cheats love story on Saturday, November 30, at 8 p.m. Eastern and Christmas on call on Friday, November 22, at 8 p.m. Eastern, both on the Hallmark Channel. In addition, Sir Darius Blaine is in the Hallmark Plus series Holidays along with an ensemble cast. The premiere of this new Christmas series is on Thursday, November 14. Hallmark Christmas fans, are you looking forward to this big holiday season? The town of Evergreen had always been a beacon of holiday cheer. With its quaint streets lined with twinkling lights, snow-covered rooftops, and carolers in Victorian costumes, it was a place where Christmas magic felt palpable. But this year, the town's holiday spirit was about to get a unique boost thanks to three unlikely heroes, Sarah Canning, Sir Darius Blaine, and Donna Kells. Sarah Canning was a well-known actress whose roles in historical dramas and romantic comedies had made her a household name. But this holiday season, she found herself on a different kind of adventure, playing lead in a holiday film titled Christmas On Call. The premise? A young ER doctor, Natalie Harper, who is called in to work over Christmas, but ends up finding love and community where she least expects it. Little did Sarah know that the filming experience would end up transforming her personal holiday traditions. Sir Darius Blaine was the charming heartthrob, known for his roles in action films and comedies. But in Christmas on Call, he was set to bring warmth and charisma to the character of Noah Collins, a firefighter with a heart of gold who helps Natalie, Sarah's character, rediscover the true meaning of Christmas amidst the chaos of the hospital. And then there was Donna Kels, famous for being the mother of NFL stars Travis and Jason Kels. Donna had become something of a celebrity in her own right, with her fun-loving, down-to-earth personality. Hallmark had cast her as Betty, Natalie's no-nonsense but incredibly loving hospital supervisor. 
It was a role that Don embraced with gusto, bringing humor and heart to the character. As the cast and crew arrived in Evergreen to begin filming, the town buzzed with excitement. It wasn't every day that a Hallmark Christmas movie was shot on location, and locals were eager to be part of the experience. The first day of shooting, however, was met with a surprise. An unexpected snowstorm that blanketed the entire town, creating logistical like challenges. Snow gods knew we were making a Christmas movie. Sarah joked as she arrived on set, bundled in a cozy red scarf. The sight of the winter wonderland around her made her smile. There was something about the purity of fresh snow that always stirred something deep within her, like it was a reminder of simpler times, of childhood innocence and wonder. Donna, standing beside her in a heavy coat and a pair of festive earmuffs, chuckled. Well, if we're going to be snowed in, there's no better place than Evergreen. Sir Darius arrived shortly after, his broad smile instantly warming up the chilly atmosphere. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, he said, eyeing the snow piles. But despite the weather, there was a sense of anticipation in the air. The team knew that this movie had the potential to become something special. Not just another holiday film, but one with heart, humor, and a message that resonated deeply with its audience. The story of Christmas on Call revolved around themes of community, love, and the unexpected ways people come into each other's lives. Natalie Harper, the dedicated ER doctor, had always put her career first, especially after a difficult breakup. She was used to being on call not just at the hospital, but in her personal life, always available to help others yet never taking the time to care for herself. Her world was about to change when Noah, the firefighter who always volunteered at the hospital during the holidays, showed her that sometimes love and support come when you least expect it. Donna Kelsey's character, Betty, was the guiding force throughout the movie helping both Natalie and Noah realize that the best gift they could give each other was their time and understanding. As the movie progressed, the chemistry between the characters built naturally, but it wasn't all scripted magic. The real-life camaraderie among the cast members started to spill over into the movie's storyline. Between takes, Sarah and Sir Darius often shared laughs, and it became clear to everyone on set that their on-screen romance would be something audiences could root for. Donna, meanwhile, was the life of the party, making everyone on set feel like family with her warm personality and hilarious stories from her time cheering on her sons in the NFL. One particularly magical moment came during the filming of the town's annual Christmas Eve celebration scene. The entire town square was lit up with festive lights, and children ran around with candy canes as adults sipped hot cocoa from decorated stalls. The snow fell gently making the scene feel as if it had been lifted straight from a holiday card. It was during this scene that Natalie and Noah shared their first kiss, surrounded by the warmth of the town and the holiday spirit. As they wrapped up filming for the day, Sarah couldn't help but reflect on how much the movie's message resonated with her. This film is really about being present, she said to Sir Darius as they walked off set. It's funny how sometimes, in real life, we get so caught up in everything that we forget to just stop and appreciate what we have. Sir Darius nodded thoughtfully. Yeah, and Christmas is the perfect time for that reminder. It's about slowing down, spending time with the people who matter, and being grateful. Donna, overhearing the conversation, chimed in with a grin. That's why I love doing this. It's not just a movie. It's a reminder of what's important. Chapter 2. A Real-Life Christmas Crisis As the holiday season in Evergreen unfolded, the crew found themselves bonding over more than just scenes and scripts. The snowstorm that had kicked off their filming didn't let up, and soon enough, it became clear that the team might be stranded in Evergreen for Christmas. Flights were canceled, roads were blocked, and even the local train station was shut down due to the icy conditions. I guess this is our own version of Christmas on call. Don equipped as she sipped hot cider at the local inn, where the cast and crew had gathered to figure out their next steps. There was a collective sigh of acceptance. It was clear that they wouldn't be making it home for the holidays, but the spirit of the season hadn't dimmed. In fact, it was growing brighter. Well, if we're going to be stuck anywhere for Christmas, it might as well be in a Hallmark town, Sir Darius said, trying to lighten the mood. Sarah, who had always spent Christmas with her family back in Canada,
felt a pang of homesickness, but she was determined to make the best of the situation. Maybe we can bring a little of our own holiday traditions here, she suggested. I mean, we've already got the snow, the lights, and each other. That's the heart of Christmas, right? And so, the cast and crew decided to create their own holiday celebration. The local townspeople, thrilled to be part of the festivities, pitched in to help. They decorated the inn's grand ballroom.